Hi you guys, welcome to day three. Today I wanted to talk about one of the most, most, most important aspects and that is what you are putting in your mouth. That is gonna give you results and that is the most important thing to focus on. So what are what is the first thing I recommend? First thing I recommend is if you have temptating foods all around your house, you either have to hide them, get rid of them, do something to them so you're not constantly putting temptation in your face. All right, we are humans and that means that we have very primal instincts when it comes to eating and when it comes to food and when it comes to fueling our bodies. And so, um, you know, when we are hungry, we are going to reach for food that's in front of us. And so I really recommend that you start thinking about healthy foods that you love. I want you to make a list of all the healthy foods that you love, okay? And maybe figure out how you're going to incorporate these into your diet. This program is not just four weeks. This is a program for the rest of your life. And so I want you to evaluate what are the foods that make you feel amazing, but also that you love eating. There's no point in eating hummus and carrots or hummus and celery sticks if you hate the way they taste. You know, but what I've noticed is that it always takes a little recalibration. If you're not used to eating vegetables and salads, the first week is tough, but then your body starts feeling so amazing from eating all of these highly nutritious foods that you actually are happy and excited to eat them. So make a, make a plan for yourself, guys. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So make a meal plan for yourself. What's your breakfast? What's your lunch? What's your dinner? What are your snacks? Are you drinking enough water throughout the day? And then I really challenge you to take out sugar completely. Sugar is one of the most addictive substances. And so even if you are like being really, really good and then you have some sugar, then all of a sudden you're going to want more sugar and it's really going to prevent you from reaching your goals. I think sugar is very dangerous and I think that if you do feel like having sugar, have a piece of fruit. That's nature's sugar and that comes with all the fiber. It doesn't cause all the insulin spiking and fat creation that normal sugar, table sugar does. So have it, but just have it in the right form. Lastly, download my Fitness Pal app. It's an app that's going to help you track your calories and it's going to help you make sure to stay on course especially just for the first week. So track your calories, see where you're getting your calories the first week, and then you can go on from there. You don't have, we are humans, we do everything in autopilot. So it's just real, it's about recalibrating where you are and, um, and, then, and then having success. I've never been an emotional eater in my life and um, I think um, l last few months I became an emotional eater and it was really weird because I wanted to eat until I felt really full and I would like kind of eat until I was sick and it wasn't something that I had ever done before and obviously this kind of activity caused weight gain and it was really sad and I didn't like the way I felt and I didn't know what to do because I wanted more food and it was just weird because I had never experienced this whole cycle. Um, long story short, I gained maybe like 10 to 15 pounds. I didn't feel good about myself and um, I heard something that said you cannot get fulfillment through food. So our relationship with food really needs to be one about nutrition, about creating the hair on our head and the skin on our on our bodies because nutrition is what becomes that right so if you're putting in the best things that's what's going to become your hair that's that's what's going to become your skin and that's what's going to make you feel absolutely fantastic so you guys make great decisions um i'm sharing my emotional eating thing because i know that i realized that i couldn't become full with food i needed to become full with another aspect of my life. And so exercise is a great way to feel happy and to feel full. And you need to figure out what other aspects in your life make you feel full and happy. Whether it is traveling or having something to look forward to, like some activity on the weekend or a date or whatever it is, find the things that make you feel full in life and then use those as a positive release for yourself because we are all working and busy and we want to have to feel fulfillment and so you need to figure out where that area of fulfillment is and turn it away from food if you are feeling like you are an emotional eater. You guys, good luck. I want you to track your calories. I want you to post your meals every single day. I want to see what you're eating 
And I challenge you all to take out sugar. I've taken it out now for since August 23rd. It's definitely not been easy, but I am so happy that I did. I'm getting amazing results. I feel amazing. My whole body, everything just feels better and more balanced, and I'm just really happy. So I'm trying to spread the love, encourage you to do what I'm doing, and hopefully you'll join me on the rooftop. All right, love you guys. You can do this. Give me a like if you've watched this video.